Hey folks, Nick Donatelli here and welcome back to the Houdini Firmograph series. A couple of people have been asking about how to make the curl noise effect that you see online with a lot of Houdini tutorials. So today I'm going to be just showing you how to achieve that. It's a super simple effect and it's always fun to play with. Um, so this tutorial is going to be a quick one. So let's just get into it. First, I'll make a sphere with a size of 4 set to polygons with a frequency of 6. And this is just the object that you want our noise to follow. So you could swap this out for any piece of geometry. Next, I'm going to make a point pop and dive inside. Here, I'll make a turbulent noise since this alligator noise type always returns positive values. And then I'm just going to promote all the parameters and make a ramp node, ramp parameter, and bind this out to the CD. Now I'm going to bring the frequency down a little bit. And then you can just remap this noise to any color you like. This is going to give uh, our particles color before going into the sim. So this is how they'll start and then they'll curl out from here. So next I'm just going to make a null and I'm going to name it base in all caps. And we'll just use that to reference later. So now on to our particle sim. So we're going to make the particles and then make a pop fop inside and we're going to do a curl noise here and bind it out to the velocity so that it's affecting it directly as opposed to doing a wind force and now i'm going to bring the frequency down to 0.4 and the amplitude up to 7 and if you hit play you can see that we have particles moving through this curl noise now it starts to get a little far from our original object. So we're going to reel that in by doing a SOP solver. And I'm going to do an object merge, grabbing that base node. And then I'm going to drop a rest node after that. And I'll do a ray, uh, bringing the dot geo into the first. and change the method on the ray to minimum distance. And you can see that it actually brings our points directly onto the surface of the sphere, which it might be what you want, but I want to keep it a little looser. So I'm going to change the scale to zero. And then I'm going to check on import attributes from hits and type in that rest attribute. Now I'll pop back out and make another pop vop and bind in the rest and change it to three floats vector and then do a subtract node bringing in the position to make a vector pointing to the closest point on the surface. And now I'm going to make a multiply and just promote that to use as an amount and then bind this out to a force instead of a velocity this time. That way it's more of a gentle push inwards. And now if you hit play, you can just tweak this value for how much you want it to move inward. I found around 15 gives me a look that I like. And that's the actual particle sim. That's pretty much all you need to do. Of course, you can add more custom things depending on what you need. But basic curl noise is this setup. So now we could render these directly as particles, but I find that the stringy look is something that's a little cooler to show off the actual shape of the curl noise. You can see some of those curls start to form as it goes. So I'm going to drop a trail node and bring up the length just to something you're happy with. And then do an add. Go into polygons, change it to by group and we're going to put the ID attribute just to connect the trailed particles into lines. And now I'm going to do a UV texture set to points and rows and columns. And then do another point VOP. Here we're going to set up the P scale attribute. Um, so 
we're going to do a vector to float on the UV, hooking up the first input to a ramp changed to spline, and then do another multiply. Highlight one of the parameters, and I'm going to bind export that to pscale. Now, I actually just rendered these lines directly uh, in my example. And you can see that whole render process if you grab the, the project files on the site. I set it up in Mantra so that anyone could follow along. Um, but to view the pscale attribute in the viewport, I'm just going to make it polywire and type at pscale into the wire radius, which will convert these lines into geometry. And I'm just going to multiply it by 0.05 so that we have nice thin lines and then mess around with the ramp just to give a little taper on each end of them. And then from there, um, Mantra and any other renderer can actually just render these lines directly without actually having this geometry. So you may have to, depending on the renderer, go outside and actually tell it to render strands or hairs or whatever the, your renderer uh, calls it. But this setup is now good to go. And there you have it. That's our basic curl noise setup. Um, as always, we'd love to hear from you in the comments if there's any other effects that you'd like to see tutorials for in the future. The project files for this one with the entire render setup are on our site. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time. <laughs>